Okay guys, Shave Iron 1000 here. It's kind of the same day. It's still Wednesday. It's almost 5 o'clock in the evening instead of almost 1 o'clock in the morning. But uh, yeah, we're going to be getting a storm. It's supposed to hit the east side of Florida um, later this evening and it's supposed to hit at a cat one so it's not a hurricane yet but it's it's nicole tropical storm we had our warnings today but we're still under advisory but yeah it's been getting breezier and breezier so it's supposed to get like uh yes yeah, we're supposed to get not us but when it hits landfall it's supposed to be uh, 75 miles an hour wind, which is a cat one. But then it's going to come up. It's kind of going to come over into Citrus County, which is my county. And kind of go on up into Jacksonville and up into Georgia. Uh, it's moving at 12 miles an hour right now, 70 mile an hour winds. We're supposed to get some heavy gusts. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was really blowing a minute ago. I went in and got the camera and it quieted down a little bit. <laughs> we haven't had any rain. They're saying it's mostly going to be wind. There's going to be some tornadoes and stuff. But it's supposed to get, um, yeah, it could get bad for us over the night. Like later on in, in the nighttime. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, so should be interesting because it's coming right for us. Florida has not had uh, a hurricane in November since 1985. So it'll be the first one in that many years. So be what? Yeah, it's moving around up there. squirrel up there and watching that squirrel but yes yeah, so it'll be what 37 years yeah 37 years I'm just kind of going to keep you posted. I think we're going to be okay, but I'm sure we're going to get a lot more of this wind. That's not our car. That's mom's uh, physical therapist. Monkey ran to the store. But yeah, um, the path it's showing right now it's kind of going to go right over top of us. But that, that could change, you know. But yeah, it's it's on its way. So we should, early morning hours, we'll probably get. Probably get some heavier winds than this. So. Just want to keep you updated. 
as we go along. Like I said, right now it's about five o'clock. I'll update you later this evening. I'll, I'll put this up and then I'll take it from there and keep going with another video. So it's not too long and not too boring. So yeah, there's that tree branch I was telling you about last night. Pretty long, goes way down into about that fork right there. Yeah, so, but yeah, it's been breezy all day, but it's just now starting to get where I can hear inside the house. So, we got that window open. We had the back door open earlier, Monkey did, and you know, kind of let the fresh air breeze through the house. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Stick around. Okay, guys, about 8.30. And the wind has picked up significantly. Yes. monkey said we came out back and monkey said you need to go get your video whatever that means <laughs> it's like as soon as I grab my camera though the it dies down the wind goes, dies down it goes in waves like it'll calm down and then it goes again yeah it's starting to get nasty no rain though, but they're mostly worried about the wind. I worry about wind. Oh, I just felt the sprinkle. Do you want to bring that stuff into the garage? Uh uh. Yeah, a minute ago, these trees were really blown over. Yeah, they were whipping. Yeah, they were whipping. I think they'll do it again in a few minutes. It comes and goes. But that's the beginning of this. Yeah, that's the beginning. Yeah. I don't think it's made a landfall yet. No, I don't think so. It's getting closer, though. Yeah. They said it was, what did I tell you, Six, 600 miles wide? You wasn't telling me that, but yeah, I heard you telling somebody that. Yeah, 600 miles wide. So, everything's still fair and well. But, as it progresses, I shall progress for you with the video. Oh, my grass is getting covered. Jeez. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm having some trouble with this thing. I'm going out of focus real easy for some reason. Yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Right, Monk? Yeah. We'll be in and out. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow and Friday is going to be the worst. Well, Friday won't be bad for us. No. Maybe tomorrow early in the morning. It's supposed to come right over top of us. Yeah. I gotta clean my lens. Well, as soon as I shut the camera off, it started blowing. Yeah, I figure. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Again, we'll keep you updated. Okay, guys, it's about midnight. I did clean the lens, and now it's raining on it. Great. <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks in the camera, but yeah, it's it is raining. I see it on the windshield, probably. Real fine. We're not supposed to get a lot of rain. We're supposed to get some, but not a lot. So. And it's been pretty windy, huh, Mama? Yeah. Is it raining? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she just come out. <laughs> Is it raining? <laughs> yeah, it's raining. <laughs> Very fine, though. That's what I just said. Oh, you did? Yeah. Sorry. I didn't hear you. I was yeah. I literally just said it as you was coming out. <laughs> yeah, so it's coming. It hasn't hit landfall yet, but it will. Wow, look. <laughs> I got one purple flower out at the coldness. Huh. Isn't that funny? I got to turn that up. <laughs> but it, it'll hit landfall here in a few hours probably now this battery went dead oh no yeah it's not a it's not the battery for it i got the other one on the charger but anyway yeah. it's uh <laughs> it's going to help um yeah it'll hit landfall here in a few hours maybe early in the morning yeah. It's it's running. What I say it was 13 miles an hour now. Yeah. With 75 mile an hour winds, sustained. So. And it was what about 63 miles away. So a few hours it'll hit landfall. So probably daytime. You know we'll probably see start seeing our end of it a lot worse than this. Yeah. So. I'm just going to wait and. I'm, Let's see and see what's going on and I'll film it for you in the a.m. or if it gets worse or trees start coming down I'll kick you on so all right we'll be back with you right monk yeah bye <laughs> get wet these I'm telling you what these Floridians a Canadian Floridian down here in Florida I freaked out first year I was down here man Hi. there's three raindrops people are running they don't want to get wet <laughs> do they no. No, people, they don't work in the rain down here. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, here we go. Not focusing again. There we go. Might be moving too fast. But anyway, guys, I'll be back with you. It's Thursday morning, 9.30 a.m. And uh, we're getting some rain. Like I said, we weren't supposed to get a lot. I mean, it was mostly around the lakes and stuff. They're worried about flooding. As you can see, this is what's going on. Now, it, uh, Hurricane Nicole hit landfall around Vera Beach around 3 a.m. this morning. It hit as a Cat 1. It's now just a uh, tropical storm because the winds are now at 70 miles an hour sustained in some places. I don't believe that. I think it's all pretty much a gust. Um, and I'm not sure where it's at right now. I can't never get, because where I'm at, let's face it, our city's not big enough to know. I mean, that's pretty much it. It was like uh, Hurricane Irma, you know. Um, when when we had Hurricane Irma, as soon as soon as um, she passed passed went past Miami and, and Orlando, it immediately they immediately went into on the news about pictures of you know the devastation around there and stuff, and you kind of forget about us over here on the West Coast, you know. Um, Crystal River, Cedar Key, you never really hear about any of any of us. Uh, we're 16 to 18 minutes from Crystal River. Um, 
And then they 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 got hit pretty hard over there. The the last bad hurricane we had. You didn't hear anything about it. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure exactly sure where it is right now, but it should be pretty close to us. Okay, guys. So this is what I come up with here. This is the path. Um, let me refresh this for you. All right. As you can see, this is the path that, so she hit, she made landfall right here. Right here's where she made landfall. Vera Beach, sit around Lakewood Park, Fort Pierce. Uh, but Vera Beach is kind of, she went right, right into it. And this is the path she took. This was about 4 a.m. That's about when I stopped hearing hearing what was going on. I just happened to bring this up myself. Um, Haines City. Th this is where we're at right here. Inverness. This is where we're at. This is Crystal River. This is Homosass Springs. We, we camped out there. This is Cedar Key up in here. As you can see, her path is... Uh, Heading right through Cedar Key, right through Home of Sassa, you know. Um, as you can see, we're we're in this here. So apparently, this was. But the, see, it says here this was at uh, at seven a.m. And this says Thursday at one p.m. Right now, it's nine fifty-six. AM so when she gets right in this area doesn't really tell me what time it says 9 a.m. that you know it's it doesn't really you know what I mean set this arrow here and then it goes on so Thursday at 4 p.m. It, it, it's not telling me anything. Thursday at 4 p.m. Where's she at? See, that's what I mean. It's not... It's not telling me anything. Uh, let's see. Max Gus will be... So this should be 1 p.m. Max Gus will be 63 miles per hour. Max wind will be 52. So, but see, I, I want to... I can't move that. You know, I want to know what's going on when she hits right in this area. Because this is where we'll feel it the most. And I don't know. It, it won't tell me. So, that's what I mean. It's just... You know, but see, like like I said, it's going to be coming right through Homosass Springs. And then right through Cedar Key here. Cedar Key right here. She'll be coming right through here, see? And, but you're not going to hear about that. You won't hear about Homosass Springs. See, this is a... See, this is us right here. We're right in this general area here, so you can see how close we are to the coast here. Yeah, but that's all I can bring up for you. I'm sorry. So, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that's, yeah, that's, um, just sometimes things don't make sense. I guess. Put that back to now. But yeah. So. Just kind of. Kind of goes to show you. It it's doesn't. Um, they don't. You know once. You know like, like I said. Here's. Here's where she made landfall. Right here. And clear up here. Is Daytona Beach. New Smyrna, and you, you was hit, you're, you're, we're still hearing all about 
uh, Daytona Beach, and she, she, you know, Daytona Beach is not even in the path. Uh, we haven't heard anything about Fort Pierce. We haven't heard anything about Vero Beach. Um, none of these places here. We haven't heard anything about. And as you can see, it's, it's going to clear through all these, you know, all these towns that, that you won't you won't hear anything about which is unfortunate but like i said we we're still hearing about daytona beach and you know wasn't wasn't even close you know and she's gonna go right over top of us pretty much and you know right over you know right through homosassa springs it doesn't make sense or Floral City. That's just just a couple miles up the road from, or well, down the road, as you can see. Just a few minutes. Like I said, uh, Inverness to Crystal River, which is right in this area here. Well, actually, right here is Crystal River. Um, to go from here to this split right here is uh, 18 minutes. Um, it can be done in 15, 16, depending on traffic. There's Crystal River right there. So that's how close we are. But yeah, you'll never hear you'll never hear anything about Homosass Springs, Crystal River. You won't hear anything about Cedar Key, um, Rainbow Springs, uh, Citrus Springs. See, we're all in this path. Lake Pan, Lake Panasofsky right here, Bushnell. Look at all these. You know, there's Spring Hill. There's there's where our cemetery is we went to brooksville that's where the uh the um oh she'd always forget the name of that place that was the abandoned uh subdivision that that's all filled up again now and it's doing well now dade city zephyr hills um like i said you you know you don't hear about any of these places some people tell you you know actually what's that here Here's Claremont, okay. Claremont's a pretty good size. Here's Leesburg, Claremont. Claremont's a pretty good size city. You won't hear anything about that, and you know they're in it kind of right here. I mean, so but yeah, I mean according to this, I don't, you know, see this one's not spinning, this one's not spinning, this one's spinning, and that was at 7 a.m., which according to that was uh Heen City. So I I I don't know guys. Like I said it's it's hard to find out. I want to know where she is right now and I I really can't, you know, cuz I'm here right here. <laughs> and they, it's like they don't want you to to know anything. But yeah, we're hearing all kinds of stuff about uh you know about Daytona Beach and that you know that's that's where uh, well that's where Monkey when, when they moved down here Monkey was 16 <laughs> you know Daytona Beach they, that was her I mean she lived right on the beach they had a motel right on the beach <laughs> so you step off her backyard and you was onto the beach but like I said it, it just you know you don't hear I, I haven't found anything about any of these cities, especially right here where she made landfall at 3 a.m., as you can see right there. Especially right there. See, it's telling you Category 1. Now it's, it's saying TS because now she's a tropical storm because winds are below 75 miles an hour. But look at that. Clear up through here, though. We are hearing about, you know, Flagler Beach, Daytona Beach. I haven't heard much about Ormond, but yeah, there's Daytona right there. And here is where she made landfall. And I don't, you know, but we're hearing all kinds of stuff about Daytona. Um, we did hear some uh, about West Palm Beach, which is clear down here. We're hearing about that. We're hearing about um, Boynton Beach, which is clear down here. We've also heard, I heard this morning about some uh, Boca Raton. They, they're getting some uh, high waters and stuff, but 
all I've heard about uh, Vera Beach is that that's where she made landfall. That was it. That's all. Yeah, I mean, it's not right, you know. Like it's like well, they don't care about us. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't get it. You know, it's like well, the heck with them. Who cares? You know. But like, I want to know. I want to know where she's at right this second because I know she's not here. Because it's not 7 a.m. You can see right here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Go figure. Alright guys. Back to the video. Um, but like I said, it's hard to know. Didn't film anything after last night because... Oh, it just got windy. So, but anyway... Um, I guess she's moving at 14 miles per hour now. Um, and, of course, she's gonna, she'll slow down even more. Uh, coming across land, but, yeah, usually, like, if they would hit land at a Cat 4, you know, a few hours later, you know, they'll be down to a Cat, you know, 2 or whatever. So it really slows them down. But, as you can see, nothing's going on here except it is it is breezy, but it's been like this for, you know, two days now. So. Got some trees across there. But I've seen a storm like this, just a regular storm here. So yeah, this is probably, you know, unless something happens, this is probably going to be, I'm going to go ahead and get this out to you so you know what's going on right now. Because like I said, and, and anything you look up on it, it's at least an hour old at the minimum. And it's it's, it's all, all, all I'm bringing up now is I, I can't even find out exactly where her, where well, so it's a tropical storm now. I can't even can't even find out exactly where she's at because um, once she came through that area and and um, you know went past Flagler County, um, which she made landfall in Indian River County, I, I think it was. But once it goes past you know big known cities like that, you know you really don't hear much. They don't really talk much about it. Uh, we had both of our phones went off with a with a uh, tropical storm warning yesterday morning at like I don't know it was like three o'clock in the morning and that and that storm warning was only until noon yesterday so if that gives you an idea of, you know it's like is she you know she hadn't even made landfall yet and we had you know our warning was done and over with so I, I don't get it I don't understand how that works because it don't make sense to me how they could you know and this is worse than it was yesterday at noon so I I don't I don't get it doesn't make sense to me so I'll get this out to you and then if anything else happens I'll you know I'll kick you on but I think this is pretty much all we're supposed to get now, so. But yeah, I just think it's crazy that you can't, you know, once it passes the, the, the big the big cities up, you don't hear nothing. Now let's move on to the devastation, then the cleanup, and, and meanwhile, you know, the West Coast is getting slammed, and it's like they don't care, you know what I mean? Like, West 2, you guys down here in Florida know what channel that is, West 2. Um, yeah, that's really all they cover is their, their immediate area because we don't have any, you know, where we're at. You know, we're such a small town and we don't have any big cities in, in, uh, in Citrus County. So, you know, there's no big news, news stations or anything like that to follow it anymore. And then it's just kind of like that's pretty much it and everybody else forgot about, you know, it's, it's, it's not right. It's the money cities they worry about. 
I mean, even Tampa, you know, I haven't, haven't heard anything out of Tampa. Um, I don't know where the storm is at exactly right now, but she should be pretty close to us. But so anyway, as you can see, another hurricane. Haven't had a hurricane hit Florida in November since 1985. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded for you. I'll keep a watch on this today. Uh, and maybe I'll do a live stream later if it's, you know, if it picks up, just to kind of let people, anyone in our area, you know, know about what's going on. Because like I said, about 4 a.m., that's the last I could find anything about where, where she was at. Well, she made, she made landfall at 3.01 or whatever, you know, 3 o'clock and... And that, that was pretty much, I can't find, I can't find her. <laughs> I don't know where she's at, nobody's saying nothing. Because, like I said, she's already passed, you know, the big places, I guess they call it. It's just, uh, yeah. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, if it starts getting worse, I will update on a live stream or something for you know any of our viewers that might be close to this area or just want to know where, what's going on because like i said it's hard to find out um they just always talk about their immediate area and that's it but they will talk about you know bigger cities they'll they'll when this storm gets close to jacksonville we'll start here you know they'll pick up more maybe a little bit about jacksonville the panhandle area maybe and then that's that's pretty much going to be you know you won't hear about this where we're at right now it, it could go right over top of us and there could be devastation and trees down you wouldn't hear about you wouldn't hear about this town you don't hear about crystal river cedar key you won't hear about that so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the mr man of legend gone for now we'll see you in the next one like I said, if it gets any worse, if I find out any more, I'll, I'll post something else later. But right now, this is pretty much it. So, bye-bye, guys, and take care.